Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So as you can see, it's just gone 4 o'clock on um, the last day of August, well, the only day of August. Uh, we're going to be moving on to September very soon, and if you've been watching this series for some time, you'll know exactly what that means. Yes, the price for sugar is at its best, and we have a serious amount of sugar. I don't think there's anything else to do in August. Um, the barley crop isn't ready, is the... I don't think the olive grove is ready, or the vineyard. Nope. Nope, so there is absolutely nothing to do, except for a bit of uh, animal feeding, in August. So, uh, yeah, I need to get the price when it really is at its best. See if the cows want anything here. Looks like they probably do, actually. Well, we have a fair amount of food for them. Is that it? It is. Okay, good. So they're all topped up. Uh, we've got the eggs spawning. We have a great deal of sugar spawning. Uh, we still have nine pallets left to spawn after these. So I'm going to get these loaded up before we move on, because otherwise we're going to have just a ridiculous amount waiting to spawn. And then it's going to happen. We're going to take them. Hopefully we can get a full trail load. We already have one full trail load. This is just going to be bonkers. It is, in fact, possibly, it has the potential to be the largest income I've ever made in one go in the history of playing Farming Simulator. So, it, it, including all of them, like 17, 19, and even way back when I started, although I wasn't making videos. So this is going to be fascinating. All loaded up. So I do have... Let's just see what we've got here. We've got this in the way. Let's just move this. Yeah, we do have more space in the trailer. I need to move the curtain to the front. We've got all in here. And these are stacked two high and three deep, which is pretty impressive. And we've got a few more spaces here, like four, four spaces. So we just need to wait until the morning. I'm gonna take a look at the price for sugar now to see how much it changes. And then the question is, is it better in the morning or at lunchtime or in the afternoon or whatever? Okay, <laughs> I, I think using super strength I've managed to push the trailer into the pit, making it pretty difficult to attach to. That's got it, good. Okay. So as you can see, September is good, currently decreasing apparently, 1598. Uh, let's see how much these change. So we'll call that 1600 for simplicity. We'll call that 15. See where they go from there. And um, yeah, let's hope it actually does increase. Let's hope we're not missing out on a good deal. So what I need to do is just go over to the house. And I need to rest. I think I will save it though, just in case the price does end up being worse. Um, but I think they have sorted that. I think it is much more accurate now. Very sleepy today. And we have a price of... Okay, yes, so not really much better. This one has improved. This one's got worse. Um, the bakery does have a limit though to how much you can actually deliver to. So the one we're actually gonna be selling to has improved. So we had to move on. Um, but is it dropping? No, it is, it's increasing quite rapidly. So this is good. It does mean, however, we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit to take advantage of the best price. Mustn't forget this. This is the axle snapping load. It actually is making the dolly do weird things. You can't really pull it, it's just glitching into the ground, but we'll get it there. <laughs> we'll definitely get it to the sell point. So we have all of these plus another three, which are waiting to spawn. Um, so yeah, let's get these put in as well. Hopefully we have enough space to squeeze the front ones in. And then if we can get them in, made to measure, perfect. Uh, yes, then we can um, move the curtain forwards. But this is so impressive. Uh, we're gonna be keeping some of the sugar because it's not all gonna be ready today anyway. We do need it for when we make chocolate and cakes and stuff. Let's 
It's like the missing piece in a puzzle. That's in. And sorry for all these rapid movements. And there we go, I think. Yes, there we go. Uh, so I will just strap all of those. Lovely. And then we can close the curtain. Change where it opens to. It's better. And it reveals the final load bay. So I will just put more in. It might fill it. Ooh, look at that. The barley still isn't ready. Well, it should be ready very soon. We have one more pallet, which I think fills up the usable space on this side, and now I might be able to squeeze a few more in through the back door. So there we go. So neat too. Always looks good when it's neat. Um, so what do we have? We still have 165,000 litres of sugar beet to process, <laughs> um, which does equate to a serious amount of sugar on top of what we already have. And um, let me just open the door. Don't normally have to open this door on the trailer. Yeah, I reckon we can actually get another, well, potentially another six in there. But what's the price doing? 1600 very good is that maxed out it's interesting because this tends to give us the highest price but actually we've gone above it so and wait what september's now showing down from august okay that must it must change then from where you've i am on sugar aren't i yeah i am that's changed it's very live isn't it it changes all the time um but i'm under the impression, oh wow, it's still, it is still going up. Well, I think what we're gonna have to do is take the trailer over there, the other one, because it's gonna take some time. It's not gonna be the easiest thing to tow over. Uh, and we are going to the farm shop. I will just confirm that. Farm shop, yes. Um, so this is incredible. I really don't know how much we're going to make. I suppose it's not that much per 1,000 litres. Okay, come on, trailer. It's only 100 tonnes. You can do it. Oh, no, wait. It's 72 tonnes, approximately. 72,000 litres. <laughs> Crikey. Although sugar is pretty dense, so it probably is about 100 tonnes. Well, this is me flat out. 8 miles per hour. The, um... Actually, the back of the trailer is doing okay. It's just the front dolly. It does not want to be under there anymore. But we run the risk of having a spectacular glitch. This may suddenly take off like a rocket. Whoosh! Seems pretty stable, uh, the game, so I don't know if it will do that, but I'll keep... Oh, we're picking up speed. I'll keep the video going as a time-lapse, and then I've got the video saved and recorded if something interesting does happen. Well, that would have been issue free had I not flipped it over. It is very top heavy, obviously. Um, and I did have to restart, but it's a good job I saved. So I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to pull in front of the car. I'll leave it in here somewhere. Need to check the price again. Um, actually, maybe, maybe just here. Right, uh, so we have another pallet. Just one more pallet. Um, 
Get that picked up. Pop it in the back. I don't know if it's going to fit that way. Well, it would do if the doors aren't shut, if we don't close them. But I don't think we're going to have to do that because we're not going to have enough. Um, so the price is... Let's see... 16.24 and maxed out. So there we go. Let's get it back to, uh, well, real time will do. Uh, £1,624 is what we're going to take. There's no more pallets to spawn in the near future, so that is it. That is everything. Make sure it's strapped properly. I will save the game after that first delivery. And we're off. It seems heavy. Very heavy. Um, yes, and I've just crashed. So yeah, this is 61,000 litres, so not as much as the other trailer. Which is surprising. I think it's a bit more stable too. So let's get over there. Oh, look at that, we've got some canola oil. If the price for canola oil is good, we'll sell it. Uh, and yeah, as I was saying in the previous episode about the sugar, we're going to be getting the other dairy, uh, which also is a chocolate factory, a chocolatier. So we'll be able to use some of our sugar there. The rest can be sold when the price is good again, so probably another year. Okay, so just battle our way up the hill. And here we are, two loads of sugar, two very full loads of sugar. So I don't think the cell point is wide enough to be able to put both of these in at the same time. It would be fascinating to get one big figure, um, I will see. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. So we're just going to have to drive them through individually. So here we go. Very sweet. Crikey. Uh, so we've got £117,097 for the first one. And the second one, which won't be as much. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck there. Ninety-nine thousand two hundred and twenty-two, and <laughs> bringing a grand total to three hundred nine thousand. Obviously, not just from the sugar. Um, I think we did have about ninety thousand before, so still very, very good, extremely good. And um, yeah, do we do we have a good price for butter? Let's take a look, because I, I did just dump the bucket butter here, not the bucket. Uh, September that is now, so we should be able to. Oops. Should be able to get, yeah, almost £3,000. We actually do have a lot of butter, so I should go and get that. We're going to make so much money today. Try and keep this going to get one figure. Ooh, oh, no, that's blown it. Oh, so close. Um, yes, so that is going to be 14,794. What's the cheese like today? Not great, not terrible. But yeah, I will go and get the butter and potentially furniture. I know the price of furniture was very good in August. We did sell some, which is why the pickup truck's here. Um, but is it still good enough to justify selling any? Canola oil. Uh, yeah, we'll wait. It can get better. Much better. But yeah, the furniture. Doesn't come across as very good on there, but actually, 6,000 is still very good. So I might go and get some. In fact, it'd be wise to get that first. 
so I'll see you over at the carpentry. Okay, not much. <laughs> In fact, just one. Uh, the next one is how far away? Not too far away. But it's not worth waiting. So let's go and get the butter. That is the important product to be getting. Oh, maybe eggs as well. No, not eggs. Eggs are best in November. So we'll, we'll wait. If we have a lot of something and the best price is really close, there's no point selling straight away. So I'm going to have to leave the cheese here, which is unfortunate, although leaving it at the sell point and not selling it is probably the exact same thing as leaving it here, because as you can see, it's just cheese out in the open air for flies and everything to land on. Flies will be laying their eggs. Ugh. Uh, so, yeah. It's unfortunate that we've suddenly become so strong and pushing the trailer. It's a lot of lifting of the sugar. So we have the money now to buy our new field. Um, hello, cheese. And, um, yeah, also some more machinery and more productions. I think I'm going to take them out the spawn point. That's it. Right, so we'll just sell these. Get a bit more money in. This truck is fantastic. So fast. Okay. 23,819. So... We pretty much have 350,000. Oh, it's so annoying, that truck behind me just keeps following. Tailgater. Stop tailgating. Really bad driving. Maniac. Okay, so we are back. Me and the pickup truck. It just seemed like the right thing to do, putting it on the trailer. Um, park it somewhere over here. We must have quite a lot of letters again. We'll be selling the letters when the price is right. No idea when that's going to be. But yeah, we need to really start thinking about more productions. Let's just take a look at the letters very quickly. February. Okay, so we can wait. Always going to get the letters at the right price. Add it to the collection. And more honey. Very sweet as well, actually. Any more? Yep, a little bit more. So, yes, productions. By now, we must have a few pallets of fabric. Yes, we do. Three of them. Very expensive, each one of them. We need a tailor shop. Now, I don't actually know if there is a tailor shop on this map. I don't think there is. I'm fairly sure there isn't, although... I've been known to be wrong many times before. Uh, yeah, there's nothing which stands out to me. So we're going to have to place it. What's that? Great process. Of course, it's my own place. Yes. Um, so, so really, the best place for this is going to be in our own field. Near the sugar mill. Let's see. So, really, it wants to be here. We're going to most likely cut through here. Should be able to get multiple placeables in this area. Maybe even three. Um, yes, the barley is obviously in the way. We also will probably put some productions on the grass field over here. So, that might be the best thing to do right now. Or... The other option was fill number 37 and build it here. So, fill number 37 is 276,000 pounds. It's not cheap. So we would have to utilize all the grassland. Um, yes, it would leave me with less than 100,000 pounds, which is not the not enough for the tailor shop because that is 100,000. The cereal factory is 110,000. So, yeah, we're going to have to... 
well, the dairy, actually. That is something I wanted, because we can make chocolate as well. And, and we can start it straight away. We can make cheese, we can make butter and chocolate. Uh, although I did see two, so we've got that one for 70,000. And somewhere else I saw another dairy. Which was interesting. This one here. Isn't it exactly the same? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, right, well, we'll go for this one then. And this can be very close to the cow farm. Um, I would say, <laughs> it can be a bit smelly, but... Um, I do have place anywhere, so technically we could put it anywhere, but I'm not going to. I think if I put it over here... So, do we need access? It would actually look really good on a corner, because we've got the, the curved shape to the building. So if that was sort of over here, I've got bales, which is a bit of an issue. I would say here. There we go. And I've got an achievement, well-oiled machine. No idea what that is. If I was to hazard a guess, I would say it's for buying a certain amount of productions or just for buying the the dairy. It'd make more sense for the oil factory. Well oiled, but I don't know. <laughs> no idea. I parked this trailer somewhere over here. Maybe actually in the pits. It will likely be needed again very soon. So obviously we can't start the chocolate production today, but next time we will do. We'll have more sugar. Uh, but what we can do is transfer the milk. The cows have got lots of milk, um, so we can at the very least start the cheese production. I'll probably do cheese and chocolate instead of butter and cheese or butter and chocolate or whatever. Or we could just purely do chocolate. That's the nice thing, you can mix and match, you can turn things on and off. So the option is there. First though we have 34% uh, percent, no, not 34,000, 34% water to get rid of. Um, I'll make sure the greenhouses are full. We also have space here. I've seen a suggestion to either get more greenhouses or upgrade the small one. Which is that one. I think I'll probably get more. So we actually, although it is very nice to have the space, I think we'll probably get one more big one. Okay, that's good. And I have given the sheep water already. So we're now ready for milk. Wow. Uh, yes, I want to give them grain. We need to wait for the barley to be ready. Lots and lots of milk, that is full. Well, it's at weight capacity. Uh, we will have to do some landscaping for this production over here. But that must be where it spawns, the different products, and this must be where we deliver to. Or have I got that back to front? Nope. That was too soon. So this should appear here. Yeah, so chocolate, ingredients, milk, sugar. That's good. I'll go and get the rest of it. It's good to have two dairies because they don't process the milk very quickly. We're actually producing way more than what we can cope with. Should change now. Now we've got the second. And yeah, I think it's nice. It's a good place for it, sir. Adds a bit of a corner to the uh, to our area. Brilliant. So yeah, it needs to be landscaped probably put concrete around there in a loop 
Um, but yeah, as for today, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.